Today, the reported statistic by secular institutions of the number of Christians in the world is 2.4 billion. While this number is not an accurate representation of how many people are born again, the influence of Christ is undeniable to the rest of the world. Another statistic is also quite incredible, where it is reported that there are up to 30,000 supposed Christian denominations. Many of these groups share a lot of things in common, and it's hard to say about one group as a whole, every single person in that group is going to hell, and then say about another, every single person that's not in my group is going to hell. What can be said is that Paul had written about denominations already in the first century. Let's turn to the Bible. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 3 to 7 For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying, and strife, and divisions, are ye not carnal, and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. The respect of persons is repeatedly warned about in the Bible. Just imagine the people saying, I am of Luther, being Lutherans, or, I am of Kelvin, being Calvinists. The issue should be apparent. These men were just that, men. They were not infallible, and even if they had some good points, that doesn't mean we should start naming ourselves after them and basing entire traditions on their thoughts. Let's turn to another passage from Paul. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 18 to 19. For first of all, when ye come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. One of the main reasons why there would be arguments amongst Christians would be due to heresies. Now. I tell you what I'm not saying, that just because someone separates from a group doesn't make them wrong. Sometimes that is exactly what needs to be done. God does not want his church to be full of endless debates, and it is not his will that we are to give up his sound doctrine for some false sense of ecumenicism. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 For God is not the author of confusion but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. So, how can you, an individual Christian, figure out which congregation to attend in a world when there are quotations, many masters? By turning to the words of scripture is how you can discern where God wants you to fellowship, as his words are the final authority for all matters of faith and practice. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths.